Most men die at 25, but aren't buried until 75. This is a quote I came across recently and I thought it'd be pretty interesting to dive a bit deeper into. So what exactly do I mean by dying? And why does it happen to most men at age 25? So the way I see it is when you're young, you're full of potential. You have endless opportunities. You can do anything you want in the world. The world is your oyster. Kids are so full of life because they have their whole lives ahead of them. You know, if you go to any playground or any anywhere on your outside and just look at kids, they're, they're beaming with life. You know, they're full of energy and they're full of potential. But unfortunately, that's all it is, potential. Because what happens is these kids, they go to school, they go to university, they graduate, and then they settle into full-time employment. And it's at this exact moment when they accept defeat and settle into that mind-numbing, soul-sucking job is the moment that they die. And on average, I'd say this happens around 25 years old because that's when you've graduated and you start working for a bit. And like the quote said, most men die at 25, but their physical body lives on and they aren't actually buried until their physical body is dead. So what are the traits of a dead man? Number one, he looks empty inside. Just look at someone's eyes. You can tell when they're soulless and just dead inside. He lacks ambition. He has a lack of drive to get shit done. He's out of shape. He has no hobbies. He lives a hedonistic lifestyle. He's addicted to alcohol, drugs, porn, video games, gambling. He has low testosterone. He eats like shit. He hates his job, but doesn't do anything about it. He has low self-esteem, he has no goals, and he doesn't know his priorities. So here's an example daily routine of a dead man. His alarm goes off in the morning and he snoozes it seven times before waking up. He eventually wakes up tired and sleep deprived. He consumes some bullshit breakfast full of sugar because he believes the propaganda that breakfast is the most important meal of the day. He scrambles to get ready for his bullshit job he stands on a packed train, touching arms with sweaty strangers for an hour, does some bullshit job for a dickhead boss he doesn't like, has zero interest in his job, gives zero fucks about his health and eats McDonald's for lunch, finishes work and goes home to his overweight girlfriend. They order two large pizzas and a tub of Ben and Jerry's ice cream and watch Netflix all night. Repeat. Can you see how fucking soul sucking and just mind-numbing this is simply just existing in the world just drifting through with the wind so here's my story of how i almost died at 25. i had a pretty normal upbringing slash childhood you know went to school all that good stuff went to university got a degree um got my first full-time office job in my early 20s i worked for almost two years um and yeah at at some point during these two years, I actually accepted the slave lifestyle of just not liking my job and just doing the same shit day in and day out, even though I didn't like it. Um, I remember I was really into this whole FIRE thing, financial independence, retire early, which is essentially you just work and you save up shitloads of money, you barely spend anything, you're, you're really frugal and you invest all of that money so that at some point in the near future you can completely stop working and so i had this all planned out my plan was to just keep working for like 20 plus years and eventually i'll have enough money to retire and i wouldn't have to work anymore but at some point towards the end of those two years i eventually woke up how i woke up was a combination of reading lots of books pushing myself to get in shape a bit of psychedelics, the pressure of a job that I really fucking hated. And so with all of these things, I realized that I was dying and shit needed to change. I didn't really have a great plan, but I went on to quit and pursue something more creative. Now I happily make a living as a photographer slash videographer, as well as pursuing some other projects on the side. So how can you avoid dying at 25? or resurrect yourself if you're already past that point well number one is definitely fitness fitness in my opinion is the gateway drug to success in all other areas of life best example of this is arnold schwarzenegger i just watched the documentary so um he's fresh on my mind but yeah like this guy got fucking jacked as fuck and 
that really showed him that he could do anything that he wanted. And you know, the rest of the story, he went on to do heaps of shit. Um, yeah, so fitness teaches you discipline and delayed gratification, which are essential skills for just improving your life in all areas. Um, you'll also get healthy, you'll look better, you'll feel better. And with fitness, it's very easy to get out what you put in, as opposed to something like a business, which has a lot more random variables that you can't really control. So yeah, number one, focus on getting in shape, take care of your health and fitness, and many things will just fall into place from there. Second way to avoid dying at 25 is to have hobbies slash passions. Uh, you want to do shit that makes you feel alive, plain and simple. This could be sport, art, business, fitness, anything. Um, if you don't have any of these things, you just haven't tried enough shit for you to like. Like, if you haven't tried golf, how do you know if you don't fucking like golf? You might love golf. Who knows? A uh, personal example is I fucking love basketball, like, a lot. And my team and I recently had a really good season. We won the whole season for the first time ever. And yeah, I just felt really fucking alive from that. Um, another reason you might not have any hobbies or passions or anything that makes you feel alive is because of a concept called hedonic adaptation, which is essentially when you live such a hedonistic lifestyle that eventually you build up a tolerance to things that make you feel good. For example, let's say, let's say you're on heroin, like all day, every day, like you just impure bliss. Then at that point, even doing something remotely fun, like playing a game, would just seem fucking boring because you've experienced the best high ever. So to combat this, you just want to take a detox and just stop fucking stimulating your dopamine receptors so much. The third way to stop dying at 25 is to expose yourself to novel ideas. So this could be books, podcasts, or just interesting people. Um, there's so much in this world we don't know, yet some people choose to consume the same rubbish mainstream media and repetitive TV shows day in and day out. And the final technique is what I call nothing time. So this is time where you're not doing anything. You're not watching TV, you're not on your phone, you're not listening to music. Zero distractions, nothing. Um, this is when you can really learn about yourself and get a better understanding of your values and priorities. We're way too distracted these days and rarely have any time to unplug. Easy ways to do this are to go for a walk without your phone or when you're driving, just don't play anything, no music, no radio, or just go in the sauna. Or the most basic one is just fucking sit there and stare at a wall, like a blank wall with nothing. See how long you can last there. And yeah, that's it. I'll leave it there.